and I'm here at PDAC in Toronto with Nick Singh, Chairman, President and CEO of Golden Share Resources, and Chris Gilbo, Board Director with Golden Share. Good How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Great. Uh, so what do you think of the conference so far? How's it going? I think it's better than last year. Mm -hmm. Every year it's getting better. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that turnout seems to be really good. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's start with Nick. Tell me a little bit about uh, your background, how you became involved with the company. Okay, uh, I trained as a chemical engineer, and I think I can call myself an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I started my own business when I was 22, and uh, started with a small manufacturing facility back in China. And I expanded to the US and Canada, and uh, we set up the designing facility and distribution facility and the customer service facility. And before, I was just a major share shareholder of the Golden Share, and uh, but like uh, many people getting involved, uh, like Sam, you know, here still playing uh, in this industry. I love the junior exploration, and I put a lot of money into the Golden Share, but things not turning well. So I thought maybe as a major shareholder, I should have given myself uh, one more try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I got involved. Great. Yeah. And uh, what about yourself, Chris? Oh, first and foremost, I'm an investor. So I like to take care of the uh, the shoulders. I like to take care of the the finan financing uh, side of it. Mm -hmm. And I was involved about uh, eight years ago, uh, before the restructuration. And the only one who stayed with the company through the restructuration. So uh, I'm helping uh, Nick and the, the company on on that side. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I know that you guys have some exploration properties in Ontario, but I think people are really interested in hearing more about some of the vanadium projects that you have going on. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, um, uh, yes, we, uh, we focused on the uh, exploration in Ontario, mm -hmm. and we, lo we love Ontario, and us the Chinese, you can tell, and I was retained by the Chinese companies back to 2010, 2011, before, and the travel globally looking for the resources. And I made it more places I travel, the better I like Ontario. Mm -hmm. So I like Canada, so I feel like, okay, you know, we focus on Ontario. But the problem is the project we have in Ontario, they're not be able to give the Golden Share a home run. So it's, the, it's, it's okay property. Uh, in the market, it's good. It could show the value. But, you know, when the, today's market, we feel like, you know, we need a better opportunity. So when I took over the Golden Share May 1st, 2015, uh, after we finished the internal evaluation of the projects, so we are looking for the property who can give us the home run. That time we noticed the uh, energy metals, and we check all the energy metals that you, know, you can name, lithium, cobalt, and everything. Mm -hmm. So that time we feel like it's too late for us to get into the lithium ion battery and, but it's, we probably could be a leader uh, for the vanadium back to you know, 2015. So that's just why we got into the vanadium project and that's how we start. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about vanadium then. Um, it, maybe investors don't really know about it as well as lithium ion. Yeah, vanadium battery actually is the, uh, right now most of the people is talking about a vanadium flow battery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually, it's, it's very much, it's a very simple uh, 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 technology and actually it's a mature technology. Mm -hmm. It's not like a high tech, it's very easy to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, for anybody who have the basic uh, chemical uh, redux, like the knowledge, and you will understand that. But the problem for the lithium ion, I think, you know, the lithium ion have a much higher energy density. Mm -hmm. The more important is the, uh, you know, they have a great salesperson called Elon Musk. And the vanadium flow battery, we don't have that person yet. Mm -hmm. So vanadium flow battery right now is the, uh, we think, you know, in the future could uh, uh, dominate the market shares at the uh, uh, utility scale, ultra large uh, uh, electricity storage application. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I personally disappointed and we have Elon Musk did that project in Australia. Actually, that's a perfect project for vanadium flow battery. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. When we're talking about a technology only, yeah. I think you know for that kind of projects, maybe vanadium flow battery is better. But too bad we have you know 
they don't have a better salesperson than Elon Musk. Right. Yeah. Are there things that are, are better suited towards uh, vanadium redox flow batteries um, in, in comparison to lithium ion? We've seen lithium ion being used for cars, for example. Yeah, okay, when you're talking about energy storage, actually, we're talking about, you know, we're talking about the battery, we're talking about two types of the battery. One is mainly focused on the power, yeah. so and the other one is talking about energy storage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you're talking about the renewable energy storage, you're talking about long hours. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of the redox. For the lithium ion, actually, I think they're doing a better job on the power, especially for the energy density. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I think it's a different application uh, when you put it into the utility grade application. Mm -hmm. So because you're looking for a bigger uh, energy storage for the longer hour. Mm -hmm. So the lithium ion, you know, when you're doing the power, they all know the Tesla car, they, you're using thousands, more than 7,000 single shell mm -hmm. to power a car. So when you're trying to do much bigger for the utility grade, you're going to manage millions or billions of shell. It's almost missing impossible. But we know Elon Musk is a genius. He's doing that anyway. And I'm very impressed by the way he's doing. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's using the same idea to do the Tesla car. And even for his SpaceX, he's using the same idea. You know, he's putting smaller rocket engine to make the bigger one, mm -hmm. you know, to send his car into the space. Right. But I, I'm trying to say, actually, you're trying to use one key to, to lock all the locks of the whole world eventually it's not going to work. So Vanadium needs a hero. We need somebody like Elon Musk. Right. We'll be like the you know, salesperson. I think the technology, if you're talking about the technology only mm -hmm. uh, for the utility scale application, for the electricity, you're talking to the engineer and the scientist. Mm -hmm. I think there's almost no brainer. If people will say, yes, Vanadium flow, uh, flow battery probably would be the better choice. But when you're doing the bonus, you know, the salesperson, a salesperson skill, that's mm -hmm. another thing, right? Right, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So can you talk about um, some of the um, things that the company is doing right now? Um, you signed a deal recently with uh, China, a Chinese firm? Yes, okay. Um, if, if you um, check the Vanadium information, mm -hmm. uh, the people, did, uh, it's still a small commodity. Yeah. Not a lot of people don't understand it. Just like more 10 years ago, not a lot of people talking about lithium. Okay, the vanadium actually is the is the very interesting commodity, and I personally don't think right now there's a shortage for the vanadium. It's not a my view. It's the uh, USGS. It's the American Geological Survey. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's the plenty of the vanadium uh, globally, and so we you know we're a small company, and we have to make sure you know to make sure to concentrate our resource to do something we are good at mm -hmm. and to do not to work with other people. So this is why we, we mainly work with the two companies. Um, we call them world-class uh, partners. And other people probably have a world-class deposit, but we have a world-class partners. Mm -hmm. One is the uh, uh, Northwest um, Mining Group based in China, and they have uh, the biggest primary vanadium mine in operation. So not like other people, they're, they hope they're going to have a vanadium on the market. Mm -hmm. Actually, our partner, they, their mines is in production since 2011. So they're in, on the market for seven years already. So their mines are different with other, other vanadium mines. It's a VT, VTM. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, vanadium is only primary products. Actually, that's suitable for the battery application. It's not, only for the, it's not good for the steel industry. So this is why we pick up them to be our partner, possibly to secure the best source of vanadium for vanadium battery application. Mm -hmm. Okay, the PNL is the, the forename is the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. It's the government agency under the DOE Department of Energy of the USA, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they develop the, the most advanced technology for the vanadium flow battery. Uh, so this is why we make a choice to work with them to commercialize their technology together with our partner back in China with a possible vast source for the vanadium. I don't know if I explained myself good enough. Yeah. Right, so you have an agreement with PNNL and then that is uh, to produce vanadium electrolyte? Yes. Okay, and then to sell that back and, and develop a battery um, with a Chinese firm? Yes, I mean the, the 
when you check the vanadium flow batteries, actually is the is the main components. One is the we uh, uh, call that a stacks, okay, mm -hmm. and generate the power when when, when the electrolyte there, you know. They're circling the air, they generate the, the electricity. Mm -hmm. And you also have a, we call the battery manager system. And the stacks actually is the, is the, is the standard products, o almost standard products. Everybody has their own technology. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's, I think it's the more like standard products. And the, the battery manager system is the, is the software, and mainly it's the software. And so the, the biggest part is the vanadium electrolyte, they, they sink. And it's more like a, you know you're you're working with the Coca Cola and with the you know bottling company. Mm -hmm. So we make a choice. We want to be a Coca Cola. We don't want to be a bottling company. So yes, our strategy is trying to work with other battery manufacturers mm -hmm. in China mainly. Try to you know let them to custom build the battery for us based on the most advanced vanadium electrolyte we get licensed from the PNL. Great. So what's ahead for 2018 uh, in terms of the company and, and future plans? Um, actually, you know, I'm very excited about 2018. Um, the vanadium flow battery, I always think, you know, uh, it's a great technology. It's going to change the people how get the electricity. But we still have several roadblocks we have to overcome. For example, we have to increase the energy density. We have to decrease the, the, the cost and we have to make people to understand. The more important, we have to develop a business model, how we can make sure from the beginning, we can deliver and make sure our shareholders can enjoy a sustainable, share, uh, profitable business. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, we don't have an Elon Musk. We cannot you know, push our stock more than double mm -hmm. one year when you're losing a billion dollars every quarter, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, but we don't have that, so we have to you know, more uh, focus on the technology part. And I think, you know, the key things for Golden Share, if you notice that we just signed the agreement with the PNL, we are developing the solid state vanadium battery. Mm -hmm. So that could be revolution change for the battery industry. Um, you know, it's still early stage, mm -hmm. but the PNL scientists, they're very excited about it. And we're, you know, if that happened, we think that's going to change the supply demand balance of vanadium globally. For the vanadium flow, flow battery, it's not going to change. But for the vanadium solid state battery, if that happens, it's going to change the, the, the market for the vanadium. So Great. we're working on that, and uh, we, we signed an agreement, and we announced that January 30. Mm -hmm. And uh, because our partner, they're, they're scientists, and they are low key, you know, so we, we, we don't really promote that. So a lot of people, they don't understand what, mm -hmm. we're, what we're getting. Actually, we get a great opportunity to change the battery industry future. Great. I'm pretty much out of questions. I'm going to ask you uh, both to give me kind of your input on this last question. So uh, what makes Golden Share attractive to investors? Maybe you start with you, Chris. Well, I think more and more people now, they're becoming aware of uh, energy storage and uh, we're working on awareness for uh, vanadium. So I think it's, uh, we're in a great position right now. Uh, hopefully we can have uh, a great year, second half of 2018, get the same kind of return on investment we got last year. Mm -hmm. um I had a look at your year-to-date st uh, stock performance, so maybe if you want to talk about that as well. No, exactly. I think uh, we're doing a great job in terms of uh, promotion. People, I think, they like the story, so uh, that's our focus right now. Mm -hmm. And for you, Nick? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm not a, a promoter, and I train as a, a chemical engineer, mm -hmm. and I set up my own business, and my goal is to try to make money for my shareholder now try to burn their money because I was born before and I don't like to do the same thing for my shareholders. Um, I think you know we're, we're, we're probably slow but we're making big progress. I want people to understand what we're getting and I want people to see the potential of the golden share and I, I want people not only check for one year, check for three years and that's when we take over the golden share and I think the future at the golden share will be better than before. 
Great. Thank yeah, you guys thank you. so much. So, thank you very um, much. Yeah. Thank so, you. And so Nick Zhang, again, everybody, a chairman, president, and CEO of Golden Share Resources, and Chris Gilbo, a board director with Golden Share. And thanks for taking the time to talk thank with you, me, guys. Thank, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Melissa yeah. Shaw with Investing News Network.